M0FXB. Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So you want to set up WireZX PC mode on your Yesu FT3D, which I would say is, is well worth it. And um, you just need a SCU19 cable or SCU20, uh, not, not, no, or 39. So SCU19 or 39. So there's the thing. And we're actually in PC mode at the moment on the radio, and I'll show you how to do that later. I'll also show you a, a clip of what it looks like when you're in WireZX PC mode, which is completely different to connecting when you hold when you hit the X button and you connect to your hotspot, and then you can control it on your radio and you can control it on Pi Star and your Pi Star dashboard. That's completely different than this. So the first thing you need to do, if you've never done it, is go to this site. I'll put the link in the description, and you need to create an account. So I'm going to do that now. Um, and I'll sort of stop and start at the key part. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to register for a, a brand new account. So the first thing it does when you click register is it asks for you to create a, to put in your email. So I'm just going to put that in m0fxb at outlook.com and then let's go send. And so it says that it's emailed me. I've even just seen the little email there. So uh, let's uh, let's go. Let's go to that email. Okay. So I went to the email and I've clicked it, and uh, it's asked me to agree here. It sent me straight back to this page, asked me to agree the terms and agree and proceed. So I'm going to do that. So, uh, member ID, let's have a look. I'll read this and see what it wants. So, I'm going to put it, create a member ID. I'm going to go M, M0FXB, and I'm going to, because it's for the FT3, I'm going to go FT3. That's the ID that I've created. I'll uh, put a password in. I'll just pause while I do that. Yeah, what I'll do before I fill it out, I'll actually just uh, go through it with you because otherwise it's going to be awkward. So I've created an ID, my password. It's asked for my call sign. Now it wants the uh, radio ID number so um, and my name and address. So obviously I don't want to put that in here. Uh, and it's just asking for obvious information, nothing. So to get your radio ID, I'll, I'll add a video to this video to show you. But you basically go hold down DISP. Um, get the touch screen up, then touch GM, GM on the front. Um, and then it will give you option. And the second option is, is your radio ID and just tap that. And then there it is. And you're going to put that in this form. So I'm just going to fill this form out and then complete it and move on to the next part. So I've got to the end. I'm going to click confirmation. See if we made any mistakes. And uh, we'll go back through and double check because so I think when it sends, you will uh, have a yes, OK message. So let's have a look. Yeah, what it does, it gives you the option to uh, go through it and check everything. So and I'm going to click send. There you go. It's been accepted. I've got a number. So what we'll do, when, when we eventually, and there it is there. So what happens now is you will get a room number and an ID number and your login and password. And then once you've got that and you log in, then the part two of this video is how you, um, how you then enable that and activate it and connect your, your Yesu radio and get it all up and running just using like I said the SCU 19 or SCU 20 cable and it's very useful um, uh, and, it, and it's you know there's no RF involved and um, but it opens up the world to you and for the sake of uh, the cost of the cable which a lot of us might even have already from our FT1 or our FT2 this is for an FT3 and this system will work on this system of registration will work on all all YSX 
PC mode radio. So it's not just for the FT3, it's for all Wires X uh, PC enabled radios. So I hope this helps. Please subscribe to my channel and 73, all the best. When it's up and running, it's going to look like this. So this is what I call Wires X PC mode. So once it's properly configured, you will be able to connect all these stations just using an SCU20 or 39 cable. So if I just click, say this, these are ones I've added to my favorite. So if I right click and go connect. Now the reason I'm holding this radio is um, to see if there's any activity. But it looks like there isn't. But if there was, um, you, it, would, it would come from the radio now. Obviously the radio needs to be put into wires X mode as shown in the video. So this is what we're, we'll be setting up. So move on to the next part. M0 FXB digital ham radio diary, welcome. FXB, so you need your radio ID because you're setting up wires X on your PC. You also will need an SCU 19 cable or an SCU 39 cable. So all you do is go hold down DISP, go to GM, go to number two option. You can tap it on here. And my radio ID is EAPSG, Echo Alpha Papa Sierra Golf. So this is how you get your ID. And you're going to need this when you create your WiresX account. Um, they are going to ask for radio ID, which they match up when you when you connect the radio to the Wires X system. 73, hope this helps. M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary, welcome. Get your FT3 into Wires X mode. Now this isn't the usual hit the X button and then connect to your hotspot. This is to get the radio in the mode so it can interact with a computer or laptop using the SCU19 or 39 cable and software called Wires X. So I'll just show you how to get it in the correct mode. Just turn it off. Then just hold down the back and the X button. And then turn it on. And so you're now in Wires X mode and now you can, the computer will recognize you in the software. 7.3, all the best.